G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Let's do an experiment. And I'm not really going to the shed, although the bits came from the shed. This is a version 2 redo of my cold moonlight experiment. So the, uh, the idea of this experiment is to prove that flatties know nothing. No, hang on. I mean, to prove that the moon does not generate cold moonlight, despite what Antonio Subarat says. So what I got this time was the old satellite silver coated reflecto dish and this is the one where I pointed at the moon and showed that the moon has white light. Sorry Antonio. And so now I've got the sensor array. So there's four DS1820B B sensors. These things are accurate to 0.1 of a degree. So there's four of them on an array there. And look I'll show you how I proved that the system works last time. I'll just cut and paste a bit of that. My literature review was very poor, however. I did find the Marble Laboratories have submitted a video on this subject, so let's have a look at the highlights. On a, a little carpet from inside the van. So here, let's just shoot one side. Okay, so that's the far side. We got 16 degrees on that side. Okay, now we're gonna do this other side here. Fifteen, nineteen, kind of dancing around here. Okay, so a whole lot of what not to do then. My method will use an Arduino ESP8266 program to read four DS18B20 semiconductors. These devices are accurate to 0.1 of a degree Celsius. I made a device that reads all four sensors every 10 seconds. It then displays the four temperatures and a timestamp on an OLD display. And that same data is written to a CSV file to be imported into a spreadsheet for analysis. The proof of concept step I did by placing the whole test rig and a GoPro on the ground in the shade at midday and allowing the sun to sweep across the sensor array just like the moonlight will do. I analyse the data as follows. I can see the temperature rising as soon as the direct sunlight hits the sensor. The graph shows all four temperatures and it is obvious that there is a time lag as the sensors are heated in turn. Then I plotted the difference between a channel and the average of all four channels. That shows up nicely the heating differences and the time lags. This is exactly what I expected to see as the sun warms across the sensor array. Now I have the method and the gear verified. Let's test with the moon. So now that we can see that the system reacts quite nicely to uh, heating, it fair to assume that it's also going to react quite nicely to cooling. So what I did was on the moonlight night just the other day, I set it up in the yard at night and had the moon scrolling across. So I'll play that for you in just a second. And basically what you'll see is the moon behind the sensor array in full view. And you can see the sensor array with the four temperatures. Now let's have a look at that. As the moon is moving from right to left, you can see the moonlight reflecting off the array going from left to right because it's reflected off the dish. And finally, let's get to the data. So what do we see? Well, you can see that the temperatures wobble around a little bit. And that little kick on the right of the graph is where I brought the whole device back inside to download the data. So what I did was the same as I did last time, was did a differential analysis. So basically found the average of all four temperatures and found the difference of each one from the average. And that gives me a nice flat line when nothing's happening. So if you look at all four rows of data, you see that nothing pretty much goes anywhere. Certainly nothing like when it, the sunlight hits it. You can definitely see that something happens here. Nothing happens. So oh, I think that's it, guys. Moon doesn't suck. It just shines good old reflected moonlight. It just shines. It just reflects. 
the moon just reflects good old sunlight back down on Earth. Okay, let's go to the panel of experts and see what they think. Antonio, what do you think? I don't know. Oh, that was very non-committal. Um, Nick, pick it word, what do you think? Whatever. Oh, okay, fair enough. That blocking guy, what about you? Just tie a knot in it. Yeah, that's par for the course, isn't it? Well, Antonio, before you go, maybe you care to explain what exactly is going on. The moon sends light down and takes away, but takes away more than it sends down, which is why it takes away colour. I said this before, 